So this is my hatchet that I found yesterday. And uh, I've been spending a couple hours on it. And I refinished it and I cleaned all the rust off of it. And I used some of my skills on this handle and I got it looking pretty sharp. I used a little bit of wood filler. I used three different types of this fast drying stain, gelled stain that I have on this piece of quarter sawn. I don't know if you can see that. Or actually it's rift sawn. That's rift sawn American hickory. And this had been sitting out there for God knows how long. Incredibly well preserved handle. I had to use a little bit of wood filler on it. Not much. I've got this epoxy multi-component wood filler that cures real fast. And then I sanded it all down. It's got a little divot there. It's a little relicking. But look at that. I use a dark stain to accentuate the grain. And then I finished it with just a light coat of carnauba oil just to give it just a little bit of sheen but not overkill. I took an orbital sander to this uh, and removed all the rust. I don't like using navel jelly or any type of uh, phosphoric acid compounds or anything that converts rust. You basically want to remove rust. You don't want to convert it. Somebody's been using it to hammer brads in. Who knows the history of this? And I found out a lot about this. This is an official Boy Scout. This is a vintage hatchet. This is an official plum Boy Scout ax. See, it says be prepared and it's stamped on there. It's also got some type of markings there, which I'm not sure what they are. Maybe somebody knows. It's also got markings on the handle. Not sure what that means. This is a very high quality tool and this is very fine steel. High carbon steel. I was able to get a razor edge on this and I know how to sharpen things. That, that will shave hair off your hand. I aligned it first with a file And then I use different sharpeners that I have on it. That will shave the hair right off the back of your hand and here's proof. <laughs> I've been practicing with it. Uh, yeah, Boy Scout. This is a Boy Scout official vintage axe. I see them for up to $200, but that's original with the leather sheath and all that. This is a, this is a beater and probably not worth much except to me. It's got the nail puller, but uh, man, the durability of wood is just incredible. Look at that. Hickory naturally has these uh, latitude oriented cracks. Now, I doubt that the Boy Scouts give away anything this good. I doubt that any Boy Scout has issued one of these axes now. They probably get a LGB awareness DVD and a Antifa support guide or something. Uh, certainly don't give them anything cool like this. So this is back in the old days when times were good in America. But yeah, I'm pretty happy at uh, how this turned out, and I didn't think it would turn out this good. Like I said, I took an orbital sander with 120 grit <coughs> silicon carbide sandpaper and just removed every speck of rust on there. I'll set it up here and we'll see how sharp it is on this apple. You could peel an apple with this 
And yes, it will shave. Look at that. The things you can find in the woods. <laughs> uh, gotta love it.